Dear students, I, Mr. Vishal Shah, Assistant Professor, Krishna Institute of Pharmacy, Karad, welcome you all to this second part of Methods of Preparation and Chemical Reactions of Benzene. In previous part, we have discussed which are the different methods that are used for the preparation of benzene. Now, we are going to start with the different chemical reactions that are shown by benzene. So, let's see which are these chemical reactions. Basically, chemical reactions or chemical properties of benzene are of three types or you can say benzene undergoes following three types of different reactions positive. One of the most important type of the reaction that is shown positive by benzene is electrophilic substitution reaction. Then second type of the reaction that is shown positive by benzene is addition reaction and last one is the oxidation and reduction reaction. So these are the three different types of the reactions that are shown positive by the benzene. One of the prominent and most important reaction is electrophilic substitution reactions. These electrophilic substitution reactions can be of different types. Then second type of the reaction is addition reaction and third one is the oxidation reaction. Now we will see one by one what is electrophilic substitution reaction which are the different examples of electrophilic substitution reaction then different addition reaction as well as oxidation and the reduction reaction. So just first explore what is electrophilic substitution reaction. Now some of the most important reactions of aromatic compounds are those in which electrophile replaces one of the hydrogen atoms of the ring and these reactions are known as the electrophilic aromatic substitution reaction. Now before explaining this reaction just let me tell you or let, let us revise what is the meaning of electrophile and what is the meaning of nucleophile. Electrophile means what? It is a electron loving species and nucleophile means what? It is a nucleus loving species. As electrophiles are electron loving species, we know electrons are having a negative charge. So, electron loving species means the species which is attracted towards the electron must be having a positive charge. Due to positive charge only it will be attracted towards the electron. So the electrophiles are nothing but the positively charged ions or positive, positively charged species. Now what is the meaning of electrophilic substitution as I said the these are the reactions in which electrophile replaces one of the hydrogen atom that is present on the ring. For example here you can see we know benzene is having six hydrogen atoms that are connected to the six carbon atoms. Here only one hydrogen is represented over here. Suppose this is your uh, another molecule say for example any diatomic molecule say for example bromine, chlorine, halo any halogen. As we know that the whatever these electrophiles are there this is your electrophile and this is your nucleophile. So when electrophile and nucleophile comes together they will be converted into the molecule. The whatever this electrophile is there, this electrophile which is having a positively charge when it replaces this hydrogen atom and itself attached to this particular aromatic compound which leads into the formation of the substitution product and there will be formation of a new molecule in which E that is the electrophile is replaced with the hydrogen. As here one replacement reaction is there that's why also these reactions are known as the substitution reaction. When substitution is carried out by electrophile these types of the reactions are known as the electrophilic substitution reaction and when substitution is carried out by the nucleophile 
then that is known as the nucleophilic substitution reaction it's just like a uh, cricket in which you will know total 11 players are there which are fielding so one player if it is injured one goes out and other player comes in so similarly instead of players over here the one atom comes in and that coming atom is a electrophile and other atom that is the hydrogen atom goes outside so you can say hydrogen is a injured player which is going outside and incoming player is electrophile so in this way these reactions are carried out so here we have to consider when a substituted product is formed always benzene ring is consisting of one hydrogen less because one hydrogen is removed where you can see here electrophile e plus is the electrophile and nu minus is nothing but the nucleophile now there are total five different electrophilic substitution reactions are there before considering these reactions we will see how these electrophilic substitution reactions are occurring what is the general mechanism involved in the electrophilic substitution reaction the mechanism for electrophilic substitution reaction involves three different steps out of that first step is the in first step formation of electrophile takes place all all electrophilic substitution reactions involves the same mechanism that is the all electrophilic substitution reaction involves three steps first step is formation of electrophile second step is attack of electrophile and the last step is removal of proton so these are the three different steps that are involved now let's see what happens in the first step so in first step as i said there is a formation of electrophile will take place now what happens generally in the electrophilic substitution reaction we are going to use a catalyst so what happens this catalyst breaks a bond with the electrophile and the nucleophile and due to which what happens this catalyst forms a more stronger bond with the nucleophile so due to which they forms a bond with the nucleophile and electrophile is separated from this molecule and as electrophile is having a positive charge it may be readily attracted towards the negative charge so this is the first step in which there will be formation of electrophile will take place now as here in first step this electrophile that is formed it will attack on the benzene ring to form a carbo cation because this electrophile is having a positive charge which is very unstable and that's why to gain the stability it will attack on the benzene ring which is partially negative system now here you can see no negative charge is present on the benzene ring then still it is considered as a negative system why because due to the presence of 6 pi electrons or 3 pi bonds due to which electron density on benzene is more as this electron density is more it acquires a certain negative character and that's why electrophile will be attacking towards the benzene when this electrophile attacks on a benzene it leads into the formation of carbo cation carbo cation means what a carbon which is having a positive charge is known as the carbo cation when there is a presence of the benzene carbo cation that is commonly known as the arrhenium ion now whatever this carbo cation that is formed this carbo cation is resonance stabilized structure means it is having a three hybrid forms and these three hybrid forms are interconvertible into the each other means what happens when electrophile attacks on the benzene ring whatever the double bond that is present over here it will broken down due to which what happens the positive charge is generated on this carbon atom now as this carbon is now unstable it will take up the electrons from the neighboring carbon atom so this bond is shifted over here so it is shown by the arrow now due to the breaking of the bond between these two carbon atoms now the this carbon gets a positive charge so now this carbon atom becomes unstable so now 
these pi bonds are shifted towards the these two carbon atoms and due to which this carbon atom gets a positive charge in this way the this carbocation or arrhenium ion that is formed it is the hybrid of the three different resonating structures which will give the stability for that particular carbocation and finally in third step loss of proton will takes place because still one of the carbon atom is remaining in the unstable form so this hydrogen is lost and again there will be formation of the double bond takes place which leads to the formation of the substitution product so this is the general mechanism that is involved in the electrophilic substitution reaction now one by one we will see the electrophilic substitution reaction first most important electrophilic substitution reaction is halogenation once again i will repeat all electrophilic substitution reaction involves the same mechanism here as you see benzene on chlorination halogenation means what addition of halogen here we can take example of chlorination as well as the bromination benzene is capable of undergoing chlorination as well as the bromination so when benzene undergoes chlorination in presence of the catalyst ferric chloride at 25 degrees celsius it will be converted into the substituted product which is known as the chloro benzene and there will be formation of hcl will take place as we know what is the role of this catalyst this catalyst will carry out the breaking of the bond between the chlorine now as you see normally chlorine is having a negative charge but here how electrophiles are having a positive charge so when diatomic molecules are present one of the chlorine atom is having a partial positive charge and other chlorine atom is having a partial negative charge so when this bond between chlorine is split up it will be one chlorine will be converted into the electrophile and other will be converted into the nucleophile similarly benzene on bromination in presence of ferric bromide at 25 degrees celsius it will be converted into the bromobenzene if chlorination is carried out it will be converted into the chlorine chlorobenzene if bromination is carried out it will be converted into the bromobenzene remember the hydrogen atom that is present at this position it will be replaced with the help of that electrophile just again we will see the specific mechanism now the mechanism that we have seen earlier is the general mechanism and here we are going to see the specific mechanism for the chlorination steps will be same only we have to replace this electrophile with the help of the this chlorine in first step formation of electrophile so here cl plus is acting as a electrophile so ferric chloride will break the bond between this chlorine molecule which leads into the formation of cl plus and fecl4 minus then second in second step whatever this electrophile that is formed it will attack on the benzene ring due to which there will be formation of three resonating structures will takes place and in third step the whatever the carbocation that is formed it loses a proton which leads into the formation of the chlorobenzene so this is about the first electrophilic substitution reaction second electrophilic substitution reaction that is shown positive by benzene is nitration so here benzene when undergoes a nitration on reaction with mixture of concentrated nitric acid and concentrated sulfuric acid now this mixture is commonly known as fuming nitric acid so benzene when undergo the nitration in presence of fuming nitric acid it will be converted into the nitro benzene here the nitronium ion that are acting as a electrophile and concentrated sulfuric acid is used to increase the rate of reaction so benzene on reaction with the hno3 it will be converted into the nitro benzene only nitric acid will also carry out the nitration reaction but this reaction is quite very slow and due to which we have to increase the speed of the reaction by using the h2so4 so these are the two electrophilic substitution reaction that is the halogenation nitration still three different electrophilic substitution reactions are there one is the sulfonation then friedel crafts acylation and alkylation that we will see in the next part thank you